right, so we are tasting the, how do you pronounce that, Glenlivet? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the Glenlivet um, Captain's Reserve Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Right there. Supposedly it's selectively finished in cognac cask and it's got a rich and intense flavour there. So I've been waiting a while to open this one. Um, let me see. It says it's something different. Right? In the back it says it's something different. Uh, whiskey inspired by the unique character of its namesake, Captain William. Taking a journey. Brr, 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 brr. So Scottish. The reserve is finished in cognac casks. It should be like raisin, rich honey, and spicy notes. And uh, color, rich gold. As you'll soon see. This. And nose, sweet and fruity aromas of honey and apricot jam. And notes of cinnamon bread and subtle sensation of spicy licorice. They make it really, really complicated, some of these things. Oh, okay. It look, that's what it looks like. Yeah, let's open it up and see. So Ryan and I will be trying it neat. Yes, I can taste it. It smells like any other whiskey. It smells like whiskey. Yeah, it smells like whiskey. Yeah. Say what? What do you want more? It's like the so glass. skimping. The glass. So skimping. <laughs> Dude, you won't be driving home. Yeah, <laughs> man. We are good. It's smooth, yeah, isn't it? It's not like super smooth, but there's a little bit there. But it's got that a bit, a bit of a harshness. Maybe it's because I've got a cold. Normally, <laughs> I choke on the first drink I have. So, yeah, everyone who's ever watched any of my other videos will know I choke. <coughs> But I've got a bit of a cold, but which is this is really helping, so this will be great for the cold. <laughs> clear clear the passages up. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, actually that, that, that that's thinking to other ones, that probably is a fraction smoother. Is it? It is smooth. Like as in it doesn't kick you in the face. Yeah. And again, it may just be because I'm it's sick still of the whiskey, yeah. But Ryan has done whiskey tastings with me before, so he would know too if it is kind of smooth or not. It's very easy drinking for a whiskey because it's smoother. So you'd really be able to have this neat, I reckon. You don't need to have it with ice. Um, okay, so rich gold color, color. I think that's pretty much in line with most whiskeys. Sweet and fruity aromas, you reckon? You'd probably be able to smell this better than me. Honey and apricot. So everyone knows Ryan's into his bees and makes honey, so you'd be able to know if it's honey. I think potentially, potentially the cinnamon. Yeah. I don't know about honey. Yeah, like may, maybe a fraction of sweetness, but it can mm, be pretty. Mm. I reckon you're right about the sweet. It does, maybe that's why it's, it's not added sugar, but that'd be because of cognac. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that will give the residual. The cognac is giving the yeah. slight sweetness and smoothing mm. everything out. Um, I think there's a little bit of that cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know about the honey and apricot. You'd have to make the decision on whether there's any honey. Uh, well, not so much honey, but sort of honey like flavor or whatever. Which I think like, is cognac in the sweetness. Yeah, there, there might be a little bit, but that's. I mean, you'd probably have to be a whiskey person yeah. expert to like pick something. But then I think any expert, the experts always say it's what you taste anyway. So it's the same thing like wine. Everyone's going to taste something different. Right. I don't know about the palate though. The palate's a succulent flavor of mandarins and syrup, ripe poached pears and chocolate dipped raisins. Yeah. I don't know where they got that from. Finish incredibly smooth and luscious. I would definitely agree with the incredibly smooth. It's probably one of the smoothest whiskies I've tried. Oh, when you say licorice, it was a super yeah. sensation That's the nose. of spicy. Right, so it's a bit of a word play there on some yeah. things there. Sensation, they're not sort of saying. Yeah, what does smell. sensation taste like? Yeah. So what would you give it? I'd quite like that. That's quite an easy drinking whiskey. Some of them, are especially yeah, some probably the more cheaper ones, really kind of hit you when you first take that sip. That's a battery acid there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll do it every time. <laughs> that water, they water down with battery acid. Yep. Uh, the kick. 
So I would say this might be like a nine. I quite like it. Really? I think uh, probably an eight out of 10 is very easy drinking. Because I got it, I think it was about eight, uh, 90 dollars on special in New Zealand. This is about 90 New Zealand dollars, so I thought it'd be a nicer one. And it looked different, it had a purple box, so I was like, ooh, pretty box. <laughs> That's how I buy it here. <laughs> and anyone who knows me is like, ooh, pretty box. But yeah, yeah, nine. I, I don't know if it's because I've got a cold or something and I didn't choke on it immediately, but I would say, yeah, look, it's, yeah. For what you're paying in the sub one hundred dollar mark, yeah, and this, yeah, that kind of. Admittedly, it's getting into the higher end. It's not a fifty dollar bottle of whiskey, which is battery acid. And so it's a sort of mid range price. Uh, I like the the sweetness. That I think comes from the cognac that they talk about there, and I like the uh, smoothness. But that could also be because I'm sick. I didn't choke on it. Everyone is used to me choking the videos, but yeah, so yeah, that's our. So with your eight. My seven would be seven and a half out of ten. I said nine. Before. You said nine? Oh, okay. <laughs> I bumped it down. So I don't know what the math is. I'm too sick. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, everyone. If you like that video, click like and also click on subscribe. And I'll see you next time.